Hi, this is Jason Filter with the Daily Forex Report for September 24th. We're currently looking at the U.S.-Japanese yen pair. This particular pair had a great range, very large range today. Did close down just by a little bit, forming a doji bar. Um, this could signal a reversal. Not sure if we'll get out of this sideways market or not. We are looking for this pair to potentially move as high as 92.13, possibly as low as 89.68. Look for some resistance around 91.60 and look for some support around 90.50 in this pair. Now let's take a look at the Euro USD. This particular pair closed down. It did not break uh, previous support. We are looking for this pair to potentially move as high as 148.83, possibly as low as 145.56. Look for some resistance around 147.41 and look for some support around 146.08 in this pair. Now let's take a look at the pound US dollar pair. This pair closed lower, broke previous uh, some previous support. Uh, close below it. It is moving lower with the bias to the downside. Look for this pair to possibly move as low as 1.6492, possibly as low as, I'm sorry, as possibly as high as 1.6492, possibly as low as 159.14. Look for some resistance around 161.12 and look for some support around 16,000. Now looking at the U.S. Swiss, this particular pair uh, closed up. It is moving sideways with the bias sideways. Look for this pair to potentially move as high as 1.0383, possibly as low as 10144. Look for some resistance around 10325 and look for some support around 1.0200. Now we don't have any real news announcements, no significant news announcements being released tomorrow uh, during tomorrow's session. and. As far as what I'm looking at, there's really um, there's opportunity on Fridays, so definitely keep that in mind. Right now, nothing really jumps out at me of, of real significance. Um, do look at yesterday we talked about our uh, window of opportunity, and if you notice yesterday we talked about the fact that if we get a break below this low, and that we should get it to run down to this point, grabbing 50 pips out of the market. And as you can see, uh, during that four hour time period, that's exactly uh, what occurred. And then it continued on even lower, breaking out to the downside. So these windows of opportunity are something that you should definitely look for. Uh, you can look for them on any time frame, and you basically want to see uh, an area of resistance, which occurs, which occurred here. The market moved down or hit support. Sorry, the market moved down, hit support, and then continued higher. But we had an area right here of resistance. The market moved higher, hit resistance. And then in between that, we had a basically a bar that uh, broke through and moved higher in one fell swoop. It's usually a larger bar. Uh, and we had another bar over here that did the same thing. It pretty much broke through and just went all the way through. Even though it closed higher than this line, it did go all the way down to this point. And that's, I like to see a full bar like this, um, but there are times where you have it pull back and it just shows that it went through. So we have two, two situations where the market just basically went through that area, that those prices fairly quick without interruption. Now, we do have this little low right here, this support level to be concerned with, um, however, we did punch through it all the way there and it went all the way up through it uh, when it hit as resistance during this bar. So that lets me know that, well, I need to take note of it. And when I'm trading, maybe go to break even at that point or definitely watch that point, uh, that price for a pullback that we should go pretty quick all the way through that price. This would be this high, this resistance point would be another area where I'd have concern as far as hitting some uh, what would now be support as this market moved down. So that's just kind of the background of windows of opportunity. I like to see a bar. This is an ideal bar right here uh, and have basically an area of resistance and an area of support. 
And basically between those two areas is what I'm gonna to look to pull out of the market. Now, uh, it's best to do this. This was not an ideal in the sense that if you notice, we are at 1.63006 and down to 1.6257. I don't like hitting round numbers, going through round numbers and doing these. It uh, at you know basically jumping into this six pips below an area of support uh, that could you know that could basically turn against you. So if you can avoid round numbers, um, you know one point sixty three zero zero or one point sixty you know two fifty. Basically, your fifty and your zeros you need to uh, definitely take special note of. But uh, overall, the windows, windows of opportunity are great setups to look for. It does take a little bit of a knack to get used to uh, finding them and looking for them. But uh, that's just a little more in-depth explanation of them. Well, that about does it for today. Until next time, this is Jason Fielder. Good trading.